what I think happens also is that with AI, because AI winners are ultimately propelled by network effects, we're going to see a smaller and smaller portion of all the public companies delivering more and more of the returns. So we're going to see Pareto's law get supercharged. So you're essentially going to have a handful of winners over the next decade, which are going to do everything. Palantir, I believe, is going to be one of them. What that is going to do is it's going to have a record number of investors crying and hoping that this is a bubble. So that mirage, actually, it's always present in the stock market. When you are down, it's always the narrative of this asset is worthless. When it's up, it's the narrative of sometimes the narrative that works against you is this thing is overvalued and uh, this is exuberance and froth. So you always have to be working with the narratives. But here, it's, it's sort of an unprecedented time in history in which things are going exponential, driven by network effects. And then we have social media. So you have people crying every day and people being very optimistic every single day. And so it's now more important than ever to be focused on value creation processes.